Hey everybody, so I've got another little project I'm going to be working on today and I'm going to show you. It's going to be up in the V-Birth area and right up here, if you can see, we've got some discoloration up here on this uh, little ceiling tile up on top and we're going to be taking all of this out all the way across here and it's mainly right up here and on this side and what it i believe has happened is the where the windlass is located and the anchor chain is there um, if you get a big thunderstorm or some heavy rain or maybe you're just washing down the boat you do get a little bit of water uh, coming down the hole that actually access, accesses the chain locker which is located right there and there's We've got aluminum because it's an aluminum boat, but we've got some aluminum rails that run port to starboard across there. And it looks like some of that water has dripped and then will actually drip on these panels and then work its way down. And then it's got some water discoloration. So we're going to be taking those home and we're going to be redoing those. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do just yet, but we're going to get them down and get them fixed. Some of the trim pieces, I'm going to mark on the back so I know exactly where they go. They need to cut this piece. This piece needs a trim piece right here. Cut that dude in half. Whoo! Alright, so here it is. Got all the ceiling out. I had to disconnect my light right there. And there is the chain locker. Rope locker. Um, so anyhow, this is definitely where the water was coming in. You can tell where it was coming through, uh, where my windlass is and the access hole that feeds my, uh, chain locker anchor line. Um, so anyhow, that is going to get fixed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, uh, probably some heavy duty plastic on the inside of that. And also that way, when you bring your rope up, all the water that's dripping in there will not drip and kind of run back on the ceiling panels. So it's all gonna go down and I'm gonna divert it where it goes directly into the bilge. 
And that problem will be fixed in the future. And I'm going to put some extra insulation up in here as well. And I will tell you, this panel, this last panel on this Marinette 32, you cannot get it out without cutting it somewhere in the middle here. All right, so here is the ceiling in the V-berth. I've got it out and in my garage, and I've got it flipped up side down if you want to look at it that way because this is going to be the port side and this is going to be the starboard side if you just take this and flip it upside down that's how it'd be in there so as you can see definitely had um a lot of this water was coming off of the chain locker area dripping it run down and then as you can see it actually i guess the boat has a slight uh, uh list to the port side and that's why i kept going over to the port side so Anyhow, we are going to be completely replacing this, and I'm going to be happy, but my wife's going to be that much more happier because this is one of those projects that we just didn't have time to do this past summer. If you guys haven't, uh, go back to the channel, and uh, you'll check out all the other videos that we have, especially when we bought the boat. And uh, so we've had about, uh, what, seven months now, eight months, something like that. And we've been going through a lot of different projects, and uh, we're getting there. All right, so this is the piece right here that... Um, I went ahead and cut this right here. Um, it's almost 10 feet wide from this point to this point right there. And trying to get that folded up and out, it's almost impossible. I think they probably uh, inserted that ceiling piece before they finished maybe the head uh, area and uh, gave them room to put it up in there. But anyhow, cut that sucker and uh, you'll be able to get out of there pretty fast. So we're going to uh, lay out some new panels here. All right, so I've laid out the three panels. That's gonna be replacing that up there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just basically gonna go up there, grab that and bring it and slide it right back in on top of this, get it all lined up. And then I should be able to then trace it and should be able to cut it out. It should be real simple. All right, so the reason why I'm running my panels up and down this way, the three pieces of the new panels, is because this piece right here, I'd have to buy a 12 foot piece and they don't have a 12 foot piece. So guess what? Eight foot's the longest that they have. So that's why I'm running them upright. Now, the only issue is that right there is a seam in the panel. That seam is gonna come straight down through here and I'm gonna interlock that right on this corner. And then I've got a, a trim piece that I'm actually gonna put up on that panel. And what works out really good is the, the supports of the boat actually run port to starboard. So that's gonna give me plenty of uh, places of screws. I put those two pieces together, plus covering it with a piece of trim. And it's gonna work out really good. It's gonna be simple. All you have to do is trace it out and then cut it out and then you're ready to roll. And you can discard the old pieces and call it good. Before you uh, cut anything, especially when you've got a nice little surface like this, want to make sure you put some, uh, at least some duct tape or some painter's tape, something on there. That way you don't have metal scratching as you're cutting it.
All right, so I've got everything cut out, and so far, it looks good. Now, the true test is taking it in the boat and see if it all comes together and all fits nice and tight. I hope it does. So, got a lot of sawdust and stuff I gotta clean up yet, but uh, all in all, I believe it is ready to roll. All right, so the next step is I'm putting down, it's a, uh, like an insulation, it's a vapor barrier as well. Um, that way with aluminum hull, if you got any condensation in between your ceiling and the exterior of the boat, you won't have to worry about any moisture rotting or absorbing in any of your material. So first thing I did was flipped everything upside down. So what I did was I just took some acetone and cleaned the wood really good here. It's not really wood, it's almost like a Formica. Um, it won't absorb any water, which is kind of cool. But anyhow, we're gonna put in this vapor barrier slash insulation to help with any condensation that may occur. And what I'm using is a 3M77. It's a high adhesive contact cement. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this down and uh, start in here where it needs to be. And we'll let that sit for a couple minutes, let that tack up, and then we will uh, put the two together. And all you do is just go through, push it down really nice and hard through and through where it needs to stick. It's not like we need it to really stick very hard because once I put this up in there, it's going to be screwed to the boat itself. This just makes it easier. So when I'm putting it up, it's not flopping around. And uh, we'll keep on going. All right, everybody. So now we're going to be starting on stage two of insulating this v berth and replacing the panel so as you can see you got all of these nice supports that run side to side so you got plenty of places to screw screws to um, whenever you put your new panels up there so this is where my 12 volt ceiling light was hung about right here and this is the wires going to it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to be putting in some new led lights and so what I'm gonna do is extend the wires. I'm gonna be putting in strip lighting in the V-berth, which is gonna run basically around um, the wall all the way around. It's gonna be a 15 foot strip light with a dimmer switch on it, which is gonna be really nice. That way it's not too bright and you can actually adjust the light when needed. So I'm gonna be doing that. But at the same time, I gotta extend my wires and what I've got is just some low voltage LED uh, wires. You can pick this up at any um, store that you want to. And it's just basically low voltage because LED basically draws very minimal wattage. And um, so we're gonna be extending this wire. I'm gonna be running it from here um, along the ceiling and then looping it back around the port side.
this yourself, babe. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be nice. <sighs> are you are you proud of yourself? You did this. Well, I'm not done yet. I know, but are you proud of yourself? I'm not. I'm not done yet. I wish I could say it. like, yeah, this is good. You want to take a marker and mark the center of these beams that go towards the starboard? That way, whenever you put your panels up here, you know exactly where the center of that uh, aluminum beam is. So you can offset your screw just a little bit because it's an I-beam um, type of, uh, well, almost like an L-channel, I guess. But uh, anyhow, you don't want to go straight up in the middle of that with your screw. So you'll offset it just a little bit. That way you won't mess up your screw. <clears throat> Alright folks, so uh, anyhow, it's been a little challenge, I'll put it that way, it wasn't the uh, easiest project to do, I thought it was going to be a lot easier, but it wasn't, um, probably the biggest pain in the rear <laughs> was the fact that it is a little tight area, um, it makes it a little awkward just kind of moving around and getting everything in place, but it's all done, and it is so much better than what it was, um, and I'm very happy how it, how it came out. I went ahead and took all of the trim pieces out and went ahead and did a light sand on those and then put a, a polyurethane on it after I put the teak oil on there and let it dry for a little bit. Um, the polyurethane actually turned out really well. And the reason I did that is because I didn't want to get back up in this area to retreat this teak. I want it to be done forever. So got it done. So let's check it out and see what it looks like. All right, folks. So here it is. Got her all done. I'll move my light around. Got it all looking nice and good. Nice and bright. And there's the ceiling. That is all completed as well. And in the hatch area, I still got to get up inside there where the screen is and got to put some uh, polyurethane on that teak wood up there. But it's all done. And everything is completed. Now, um, just prepare yourself. When you're working in tight quarters like this, it is going to be a little difficult at times, but just take your time and you'll be just fine. So now what I'm going to do is hook up some 12 volt LED strip lighting and it's going to be running right up here in this corner. Probably maybe going to make it split right there and bring it back around and run the other side. Um, so that's going to be another video. So y'all hold tight. We got some uh, 12 volt LED light strips going to be putting in this V berth. And that's my power cord there. I still got to figure out where I'm going to take that through. Uh, probably somewhere right in that area to hook onto that light strip. So we'll see. So stay tuned. Check out the channel if you guys haven't already. We've got a lot of boat projects coming. And guess what? Spring is almost here. So we're going to be doing some more boating. So you guys hold tight. God bless you all. And we'll see you soon with more boat projects and everything else. See ya.